Fishing like a local isn't just about catching fish. It's about connecting with the environment and the people who call it home. It's about hearing the stories and traditions that have been passed down for generations and sharing unforgettable moments with the people you meet along the way. Fishing like a local is having an experience that stays with you forever. And with Fishing Booker, you can experience it too, no matter where you are. Discover your next adventure on Fishing Booker. This upcoming concert season will be all about the boots, and Tecovis is your stop for the best in Western style. Tecovis has seasonal and limited edition offerings this spring and summer, including men's and women's boots, apparel, hats, bags, and more. All Tecovis boots are made by hand in a time-honored tradition with timeless styles that are always on trend. And Tecovis has first wear comfort with little to no break-in period. It's hard to find this level of comfort paired with this level of style. Stop by your local Tecova store, have a complimentary drink or two, that's WCB style, and shop new styles. The smell of fresh leather and friendly staff are at your service. Many stores even have leather custom branding to make your boots truly personalized. And with regular live music and events, there's no in-store experience like it. If you can't make it into a store, just visit tecovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S.com. They offer free shipping on all boots, as well as free returns and exchanges, and ship right to your door. Go to tecovas.com and find your new favorite pair of boots today. Low right. Welcome back to the Survival and Basic Badass Podcast with Chuck. Um, so we use a uh, squad cast for recording our podcasts. And honestly, every freaking time we try and set it up, we have problems and we can never communicate. Um, it records via the internet. I don't have the greatest internet where I live and, uh, but whatever, but we always have some kind of logging in problem. We're supposed to be able to see each other face to face. And half the time when we record it, it's just a blank screen because the the video quality isn't good enough or whatever. So it just cancels it out. And again, today we go to record uh, today's podcast. And sure enough, Kevin, for whatever reason, isn't able to bring it up. So, you know, we just talked on the phone for an hour and we talked about all kinds of great stuff that I'm sure you guys would love to hear. And it's kind of frustrating because I'd love to share it with you. And it just, you know, that's how we end up. Um, we keep looking. We've tried Skype. It kind of worked. Um, Zoom doesn't really seem to have a great way to do it. Uh, you know, maybe somebody knows. I don't know. You guys can tell us and fill us in. But we haven't really found a good way. Um, you know, it's funny because me and Kevin were just talking about, you know, I was like, well, what do you think of Biden? You know, how is it really affecting us? I don't really get good news where I live and, you know, it's just tough. And, you know, I'm sure there's a website or something that I can read, but man, everything's everybody's opinions and their own interpretation. We don't get any real, uh, you know, uh, raw information where we can decide and discern for ourselves. You know, and we were talking about, you know, how Trump, uh, you know, started out, it seemed like he was kind of down for a smaller budget. But when the Republicans were like, whoa, wait a minute, we don't actually want a smaller budget. Then he was like, all right, let's just do whatever and, and was down for the big. And we ended up getting the same spending that we ended up with Democrats, you know, and, you know, because obviously Republicans say the right things, but then act like jackasses when it comes time to voting, just like they do with gun laws and everybody knows it to be true. Um, now I do hope that, you know, we got way better guys protecting our constitution out of Trump than, you know, we would have maybe got under Hillary, but obviously these people aren't true libertarians. You know, there's no, uh, Scalia or, you know, anything like that out there either. Um, you know, again, it's, you know, everything is relative, you know, the, the way that America is right now, they don't have the same values and we're definitely slipping away. And it's definitely a big part of our education system and, you know, what the kids are taught 
Um, nobody reads uh, cursive anymore. Nobody, uh, you know, can really understand things. I was looking at uh, younger kid uh, history books, and they have summaries of the Constitution. They have summaries of uh, the Bill of Rights and and things like that. And they just, you know, you don't even get the actual text. You just get the summary, which is kind of ridiculous. But, you know, I mean, either way, you know, people aren't being told the truth. And, and just the way we see the world and the way the world is, is very different than it used to be. And so, you know, but obviously freedom is freedom. And we definitely have given up a lot of that. I mean, definitely, you can't tell me that you aren't cautious about what you put on the internet or what you say, because free speech is really a thing of the past, you know? And now think about how many times you're cautious or you rephrase something or put it a different way because, you know, it's not, or you might even just do it for the people around you. Oh, I don't want the backlash. I don't want them to misinterpret. I don't want them to think that I hate black people or that I don't like gay or, you know, oh, I said something about, you know, having to say he, she, or call somebody it or whatever. I don't want them to think that I mean this and, or I mean that, you know, don't understand. I, I, I think people can do whatever they want to do. They can, you know, act any way they want in their bedroom. It's their own privacy and I don't care. But why do you have to put that disclaimer? Because we're so worried about how people view us and how society will see us. And I find it concerning. Um, you know, America's really changing and, and, you know, it's a matter of fitting into the world that we live in and, you know, making things work with the way we are. And, you know, we just had like a big discussion about that. And I just, you know, I'm sure you guys would have appreciated it. We talked about immigration. We talked about how, you know, maybe bailing out cities that made bad choices. Um, you know, with uh, California has that big uh, homeless population. And I don't know whether it's true or not, but I read on the internet that, you know, uh, that Biden is planning to help the California bail out, you know, all that situation and sort it out. And we we're discussing about how, you know, it's a, uh, it's supposed to be an experiment kind of thing where states do what states want to do. And when we really screw up and our city's got people pooping in the street, then other states should be like, hey, maybe that's not what I should do. But it's not for all of us to, you know, bail out a state that made those bad choices. That's not exactly the system we set up, but it's also the system that we keep choosing. Um, that's why, you know, amendments are hard to change. Um, cause the population, we knew that it would keep, you know, evolving like this, you know, when people can vote themselves free stuff, they're going to do it. And that's how it kind of works. You know, I, if 51% see that you have a sandwich and they don't have a sandwich, they're going to want to take the sandwich from you and, and, you know, get theirs. Um, that's kind of how it works. It's not maybe how it should be. It's maybe not the godly moral way, but that's the way human nature is. And it's something to be aware of. And, you know, we just need to worry about the way that the country's heading and, you know, just be aware of the changes happening. So that's all I really got. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an explanation. Uh, I'm going to probably throw up another uh, podcast that, you know, was a big hit before and, and let you guys relive some of the glory days. But I just wanted you to know what's going on and where we're coming from. And with that, stay safe. And I will talk to you guys next week, hopefully with Kevin. The Survival and Basic Badass Podcast is a proud member of the Self-Defense Radio Network. Mm -hmm.